Michael and just picked up a few random things. This was on the clearance rack. This is tape. This is like drafting tape. I don't know if you've ever used this, but um, I figured marked down from $17.99 to $1.79 I would give it a shot for making lines and borders on cards. I went ahead and bought this. I thought the price seemed a little not as good as I would normally do. I would definitely not pay full price for this because I have the silhouette and I can cut out templates. But what I liked were these tiny little, these little heat, uh, heat activated blingy rhinestones. So $2.49 for that. As you can see, I pretty much just chopped the clearance rack at Michael's. And then this good size stamp. I like the sentiment. And I, and I do like the medallion here, too. So um, that's a Stampendous stamp, $4.99 for that. Yes. I went ahead and yes. got these sponges from the um, section, I think was yes. in, not paints, I can't remember the exact section they were at, but they reminded me of those Stampin' Up sponges. So I thought I would cut them yeah. and see about using them to sponge edges. Uh, this was also in the discount bin, these little tiny star brads. Not that I needed them, but it just seemed like, you know how sometimes you see a deal and it just seems too good to pass up. So 200 of those. And then I went ahead and got these two stamps. These were also on sale. And they're called Ditto, or I think it's Ditto, yeah. Ditto Geometric <laughs> Background. So they were $2.49 each. So they're the pos sort of the positive and the negative, or the outline and the solid. So I went ahead and got both of those. So that was my um, I picked up this from Joann's. Joann's is having a sale this week that all clearance things, red tag clearance, are 50% off. This is um a jewelry thingy, I think. I think you put like necklaces or bracelets. I have a coworker at work who makes jewelry, so I'm gonna give this to her. So this turned out to be 98 cents. And then this, can you see that? It's one of those, it's gonna be way down here. It's one of those jewelry display goodies. And uh, this turned out to be $4. So $5 for both pieces I thought was a great deal. But I don't do jewelry. So like I said, it's a giveaway. Uh, a wrap. This punch, this Fiskars punch, um, this turned out to be a dollar and a half. This is a sewing notion thing, a seam quilt strip piecing guide. And um, I bought something similar, but a lot smaller one from my sewing machine. So this turned out to be uh, at 97 cents. Uh, the ribbons were originally 50 cents and went down to 25 cents. This is kind of a green organza ribbon. This little watch face uh, in the jewelry section was 98 cents, so it went down to 50 cents. So kind of neat, huh? So, I mean, it's a real working watch. Um, looks like it has a battery that probably needs to be pulled or wound or something. Or it could make an interesting um, embellishment, I suppose. Another roller ribbon. Uh, just one of those little dollar spot section chalk ink in white. So I thought I would give that a try. This went down to 25 cents. Keep in mind that all the red tag stuff went to half. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these. But they were 25 cents, so they went to 12 and a half cents. And um, it says seed beads, metallic, silver. So anyway, that's them. I might give them to my coworker who does the jewelry thing. Then I got two pieces of, again, jewelry making stuff. But they, I thought they could be embellishments. So this little heart, 
uh, was 12 cents and these little guys were also 12 cents and they say laugh joy uh, spirit smile so I just thought they were nice embellishments and then I also got some Sizzix things because they were 40% off so let's widen down a little bit for you here sorry about that um there's three embossing folders in here. They're birthday themed, so I've been kind of eyeballing these for a while online and didn't really want to pay the shipping, so it probably worked out better to buy them in the store. And then this little sizzlet die that says happy birthday. And then um, this is two embossing folders. And there's the, the two patterns. I think those are both nice. And I think those have opportunity for... Um, faux letter press. So there's that and I think that's it. So I know that I recorded some more stuff um, on a different haul and I'll try to dig that out and post that as well. But I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions uh, please let me know. But have a great day. Happy crafting everybody and I will be in touch very soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.